YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. NVIDIA stock drops. Thank you guys for tuning into the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So getting straight into this, the reason they're saying NVIDIA has dropped is because investors are worried about how much NVIDIA will actually rise on this uh, current bull run that it's been on. So again, they're saying investors are becoming weary, but I mean, we all know this week, the volatility is just not gonna be there. And it just simply looks like the overall market's got exhausted today. Now, you'll start to see these negative articles coming out uh, on NVIDIA. And that means one of two things, either they're really gonna try to drop NVIDIA or they're momentarily just dropping it a little bit so that uh, you know the big fish in the tank can get a, a better positioning, okay? So I think that's what's going on right now. Now today, as we can see, Nvidia closed down two and a half percent. So we've hit uh, a critical level of support. You can see we've got several different levels, but we've just hit that 925 mark and we're gonna have to find strength here if we are going to continue to move up. Otherwise, if we get exhausted, can't find strength, and the weakness takes over, we're coming back to test that $900 a share, okay? Now, we are gonna have to get some volume in this thing, and we, we, gotta, we gotta get it quickly, or this thing can turn around, um, you know, pretty quickly, but, Listen, it doesn't matter which direction NVIDIA goes. If we play the charts, we're going to make money on the way up or down. doesn't matter. What we got to do is take whatever the market is giving us. So right now, currently, the market is giving us down. So we got to be on board with that. So there's no point in fighting this thing and, you know, hoping and wishing it's going to go one direction when we got to ride the momentum. So wherever the momentum is going, that's the way we have to go. OK, so also what I wanted to uh, point out is if let's just say we came down to Tesla's 900. I think because as quickly as it went back up from 873, I think if we came below 900, it's going to be a quick move to 850. And that's going to that's gonna become a really big uh, level of support because if we start to fall and we go under 800, uh, we're either going to bounce off 800 or we're going to drop uh, pretty low below. But either way it goes, we've got to be prepared. Now, for me, looking at things on a from a long-term perspective, I mean, this thing is going to have to come down to a about four and that four four hundred and fifty dollars for me to seriously consider buying stock because if we look at the history these movements aren't aren't here long look how short they are but look at this consolidation between 450 and about 469 so that's kind of the level i'd be looking at into getting into this thing long term otherwise you know, for me, like I've done some some swing trades on it. I've done some uh, some day trades with it, but everything I do with Nvidia currently, with it being up so high, is going to be with a, a heavy stop loss. Now, yes, this is one of the hottest stocks, one of my favorite stocks right now. But you can't allow the way you feel about a stock to take over as far as your emotions go. So. You got to be smart. You got to take whatever these stocks are giving you, not necessarily what you want. All right. So I'm interested to know what you guys think of the current uh, price action of NVIDIA. Does it bother you? I mean, we've been here before. We've been here time and time again over the last couple of weeks. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about how this will end uh, on Thursday. Because remember, Friday 
the market is closed. So let me know what you think about NVIDIA in the comments below. Make sure you guys like and share and subscribe. And we're out. Peace.